mountain biking changes. We've got new wheel sizes, new drivetrains, new rear suspension designs, and so we need more types of the front derailleurs that will fit our bikes. Seeing so many different types of front mags can be really overwhelming, but finding the right one to our bike is not that difficult if we only understand three main differences between different types of those front derailleurs. The first important factor we want to consider here is the way our front derailleur will be assembled uh, on the bike. And we can see three types here. That's the clamp-on, direct mount and E-type. Uh, on the clamp-on system uh, we can see here L, M and S letters, small, medium and large. And that means that all front derailleurs with the clamp-on system will come with special shims so that they will fit three different diameters of our seat tubes from 28.6 millimeters up to 34.9 millimeters. The type marked on this box is the clamp-on type, so we'll just see how it looks like. As you can see now, the clamp-on system is very easy to recognize. This is the clamp that will secure the front derailleur on the seat tube of our frame. And here are the shims that will fit different seat tube diameters. This was the clamp-on system and on this box we can see the direct mount marked. So let's just see how the front derailleur will look like. Unlike on the clamp-on system, the direct mount system looks like this, having special uh, groove also on the front derailleur, which will match the adapter on the frame of our bike. And so the front derailleur will be secured directly to the frame of our bicycle. And the last assembly type is marked here E-type, so let's just see how the mech will look like. Once more, this was the clamp-on system, this was the direct mount system, and this is the newer generation of the E-type system. So if you have on your bike two threads on the seat tube, uh, which will uh, match this distance, that means you're gonna need the E-type front derailleur. The second important factor we want to consider, and it also comes in three different versions, that's the type of our swing design. It's not complicated at all. The H letter means high clamp or down swing. The L letter means low clamp or top swing. And finally, this little logo means side swing. Now that we know everything about the installation types and the swing designs of our front derailleurs, it's time for the last feature, which is the type of a cable pull. If the cable comes to our front derailleur from the top, that's the top pull. If the cable is being guided from under the bottom bracket, so from the bottom to our front derailleur, that's the bottom pull. As we can see on these models, all those bottom pull front derailleurs will be also top pull uh, compatible. And the last uh, type is the side pull. That means that the cable will be guided from the front, just around the main tube. This is the top pull system because the cable will be guided from the top. Uh, it will go just by the top tube of our frame and then down to the front derailleur. This is the double pull system because this rocker has been designed so that we can guide the cable from either sides, from the top um, or from under the bottom bracket and then up to the front derailleur. And this is the side swing uh, front derailleur with the side pull system so uh, the cable will come from the side. It is time now to check out our knowledge. Now there are some screws on the seat tube of this bike. Two of these are on the front uh, of the seat tube. That means these are for the bottle cage, so not for the front derailleur. But these two are on the side of the seat tube. That means for us, we're gonna be able to secure here the adapters for the front direct mount derailleurs. Uh, and I have two adapters. On one it says downswing. That means I'm gonna be able to use the direct mount downswing front derailleur. But on the other one it says side swing and that means I'm gonna be able to use also the direct mount side swing front derailleur. Now if there was no such screws here but just around here maybe two bolts which would match the plate of this derailleur that would mean this bike 
uh, would, uh, would fit the E-type front derailleur. If there was no bolts at all on the seat tube, I would be looking for some of the clamp-on front derailleurs. Now we know everything to buy a right one for our bike.